everyone, and how is your Tuesday morning going? And of course, Tuesday mornings, you know what that brings, Straight Terror Tuesday. And today, simple Rider weight, the one I carry around with me everywhere, the one I use to do live readings. I'm going to use that for you today. <clears throat> So, still working on the tabletop RPG that I'm doing right now. I managed to get another one, a little solo RPG that was free by the name of Iron Sworn. <clears throat> and it looks pretty good. I mean, you can, this is the type of game that you can play solo or with friends. So. It's mostly designed for solo play, but you can also have a have a game master running a game with uh, just a couple of other players. And in this game, you are sworn to take adventures and dangerous quests for the protection of the Iron Lands. I thought that was a pretty uh. It's a pretty interesting, um, I gotta put that, pretty interesting premise. So I picked it up. It was free, and if I don't like it, well, I'm not out any money, right? Okay, let's get started. Oh boy, King of Swords. This time it came up as your significator. This card came up yesterday. And granted, it was in a different deck, but this one was all about imparting knowledge, sharing it, really being secure in it, having all your facts straight, sitting on them firmly and securely, and no bullshit. So we are not about, we're not about the uh, shenanigans today. We are very much about business. We're very much ready to own that. We're ready to take up that leadership role too, where it's needed. Speaking of mind. Let's have a look at that. Well, you're starting out with a Ten of Cups. You've got a Five of Wands. And then you got a Four of Cups. So, we're going from abundance here. I think this is really what we want. There's going to be a bit of a struggle for it. We will be sparring for it. This is not something that's going to be coming easy, but also feel a little apathetic. I mean, look look at this. He's being granted a cup from out of nowhere, but he's looking at the other three like, uh. Eh. So if you're if you're starting to feel a little black pilled, like maybe the fight isn't worth it. Uh, well. Get ready, because we still got six more cards to go. We have Judgment. This is allowing yourself to emerge and be seen. So a great place to start off there. And it kind of, so far this uh, reading, kind of feels like we start out with a bang, and then we just kind of, uh, you know. And that's, for, for those of us who, you know, have jobs that we go to, I can tell you, even I'm this way. We start the day with a big bang and then we, you know, we're looking forward to lunch or whatever. We get our break and then by the end of the day, man, we are done. We have mentally checked out. And I'm telling you, today is not that kind of a day for us. But you do have the sun. And the sun's a great card because your way is completely illuminated. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to know. You can make your, your stuff happen. But it's up to you to do that. And we have a Wheel of Fortune. So a reversal of some bad fate lately. If you've not really been having it all that great, this is a great card to see, especially in conjunction with the sun here. Because in the immediate physical what's in front of you, things will look up. So there's really no, no room for this apathy to be there. But remember, it still depends on you. In the spirit, we have that page of swords. 
we have a tower moment. Oh boy. But we do have a six of cups which shows us generosity. Let me tell you something. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because tower moments can be tower moments lead to a lot of apathy. This leads to the kind of that feeling of man I just want to go home today. I don't really want to deal with all this crap. You know, we, we have that pretty much all the time. But the great thing about the tower, and I've pointed this out before, is that if you have a good foundation, the tower can always be rebuilt. But here's the thing. You're going to have to do your own due diligence today. You're going to have to be a little vigilant, and that's what this Page of Swords represents. So having that, that bit of vigilance and that little bit of authority that this Page of Swords exercises, having that control over your thoughts, even if this happens, foundations are built on giving and receiving both. If I had to put a rune with this card, it would be Gabo. And that's the one that looks like an X. That's what this card does. Because this is not just about giving, it's also about receiving. It's also about doing it very graciously. I mean, look, look at the scene here. He's giving warmly, she's receiving warmly, and he has enough to go around. You do too. You are enough. You're enough to go around. The thing to remember is, there are going to be, you know, th this is one of those readings that tells you it's not always going to be sunshine or rainbows. You're going to have those moments of adversity. Those moments of adversity should be there to teach you things. Those moments of adversity are there to kind of prepare you for much bigger moments. Speaking to my gamer crowd here, have you ever have you ever played a game and it just gets progressively harder? And you're just like, why did I buy this thing? Then you keep playing it for whatever reason. And then by the end of it, you've got the skills to beat one of the hardest either levels or bosses or whatever it is by the time that that game is done you've got what it takes to take what it what it's got shove it down its throat send it packing and moving on that's what today's all about you are going to face challenges today but it's important to keep your mind steady, keep that focus, and understand that if you keep at it, if you keep plugging away, you grind today, you are going to shine tomorrow. If you give in to your apathy, do you know what happens? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, nothing for you. You'll watch someone else get away with your spoils. They're called spoils of war for a reason. You do have to fight for them, but you have to fight based on something very solid. And if you don't, this tower card can go two ways. It can be catastrophe or it can be opportunity. So which is it today? You decide. This is in your spiritual realm. Something's going to be challenged. You have to keep your wits about you. And you have to remember that at the end of every day, you're the one that has to live with you. Are you giving up on you? 
because that's what I'm seeing in this. I see the temptation to just roll over and say, that's it, I'm done, bud. Can't do it anymore. Tapping out, can't handle it. But here's the question, how many of you actually believe it? Even though the road is long and hard, at least when you reach the uh, next destination, you can say, yeah, that road was long, it was hard, it was difficult, but I managed to get through it. And Bob, stop eating my shoestrings. Little, little snaky little shits eating my shoestrings. And my phone's going off. But anyway, that's really all I have for you today. Don't give up on yourself. You deserve so much better. Really hang in there. Take on that adversity. It's like I've said hundreds of times at my tabletop role-playing game sessions. If you're going to strut your shit around my table like you're fucking Beowulf, you better get ready to do some Beowulf shit. Don't have your therapist on speed dial every time I throw Grendel at you. Uh, anyway... I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. Let's mess with YouTube's algorithm a little bit. Let's mess with all of the algorithms. Let's throw a little like. Let's throw a little sharing out there. Someone else might need this message. You may know someone who needs this message more than anyone. As always, I love you guys. You guys, you gals, you friends, you neighbors, acquaintances. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up. And as always, my friends, shine on. You see him, right? He's sitting right here. I don't think he's very happy with me. He still has an hour and a half before his feeding time. And I think he's trying to butter me up. He's trying to drop hints. That's not going to happen. He is losing weight, but I don't think uh, I don't think we're quite out of the woods just yet. There we go. see here all right you know what I did not do a high notes video yesterday <sighs> certainly not blaming the chiropractor appointment but it was a factor that sprung up so looks like I'm doing two videos today one to make up for the Moonology Monday And then one more for today. And you know what tomorrow is? Rune casting Wednesday, so hope you hope to see you there. There we go. All nice and shuffled for the next video, which will be on high notes. And finally. Just a piece of selenite. Well, I shouldn't say just. A piece of selenite to cleanse the energy. And I'll see you on high notes. Got two videos to do today. Gonna make up for you missing yesterday. Get this put away and cleaned up. By the way, if any of you are out there, you're watching this and you're interested in tabletop RPGs, let me know.
Which one's your favorite? Why? I'm interested. Mainly because I'd like to know if you'd, if you'd play the one I'm working on. If you would, what kind of spin, on, what kind of spin would you put on it? Nice and neat. Back in the box. All right. See you on high notes.